Welcome to Horrorverse, my name is Cody Hawk, and today we're going to be talking about the 2019 Netflix original horror movie, Eli. Um, I just watched this two nights ago, me and my wife watched it. Um, I kind of forgot about it, I remember I did a trailer reaction for it on my on the channel, and completely forgot about it while I was in uh, Heavily in Horror Nights, and then it dropped, and it just hasn't, haven't had time for both of us to sit down and watch it, but we finally checked it out, and I'm going to talk about it. So... Um, a brief rundown of the movie. It's kind of the way I kind of compared it, which actually watching it's not, but it's kind. It was kind of the way I said it was. It's the horror version of Bubble Boy. And I think a friend of mine actually was the one that said that when he told me about the trailer. Um, it's not really that. It's a little kid develops some kind of disease where he's basically allergic to the air, dust. I mean everything. And he has to wear this biohazard suit constantly because he can't interact with anything. And his parents find this doctor that supposedly can cure him. And that's not quite the case. And you find that out as you go on to the movie. Um, first, this little kind of reaction. It was a good movie. Um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. I think my wife also liked it. Um, one thing I will say is, like I said, it was a Netflix, I don't ever wear my hat forward, so I start now, um, it was a Netflix original, so we didn't have to pay to watch it, um, now, I think I would have been disappointed if I went to the theaters and seen this movie, um, and I mean, that's something you get to consider when you're watching a movie that's only on a streaming service, it's not necessarily guaranteed to be as high quality as something you expect in a theater. Now granted, you know, there's a lot of movies that come out in theaters that aren't, they shouldn't be in theaters either. But, um, yeah, I really think if I would have spent, you know, $25, $30 on two movie tickets to see this movie, I would have been upset. Um, but I'm not going to let that affect my review because I didn't go to theaters and see it. I didn't pay anything to see it. Um, we watched it for free. So, um, it was good. It was not what, from watching the trailer, it wasn't what I expected. Um, like I said, I'm not going to spoil it. Um, I don't do spoilers in my reviews. Um, one thing I will say that I might spoil it if you had the same idea. I thought it was going to be a possession movie, which was kind of one of the reasons I wasn't too excited about it because I don't like most of the possession type haunting movies. There are a few, upset, uh, uh, few movies in there that I do enjoy in that genre. Most of the time I don't like them though. So it's not that. That's what I was expecting, it's not. So that surprised me. Um, granted, as the movie progressed, probably the last 30 minutes, I mean, it wasn't like early in, I kind of had an uh, idea of what was actually happening. Granted, I didn't know the exact thing that happened, and so that was kind of surprising, kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, it was definitely, it was a different take on what I thought it was going to be, which is awesome. That's exciting. I'm glad I couldn't, you know, predict what the movie was going to be. Um, and it's really hard to talk about it without spoiling it, because it does have a very interesting ending. And it's one of those movies that I kind of want to say, I want to see a sequel, but I know the sequel would be bad, so I don't. Uh, because the way it ended, it would be kind of cool to see what they would do with that. But sequels don't always pan out too well, so I don't imagine it being great. Um, so that's, you know, I don't know how that'll go. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess as far as talking about the movie, um, the CGI was fine. It wasn't like crazy. Like there was definitely some scenes you could tell that looked kind of bad. Or not really bad, just kind of average. Um, but like I said, you got to lower ex your expectations when you're going to see a movie like this or watching a movie like this. Um, but it was fine, you know, it wasn't anything that made me hate the movie. Um, acting, <coughs> excuse me, acting was good. The little kid, I don't know, I didn't look up anyone's name or any information about this movie. This is kind of just a raw review. The little kid, Eli, um, did really good, actually. I mean, he was a great child actor. It does have the actor from, it has Sam from Stranger Things. I don't know her real name. She did pretty good. I mean, she wasn't in the movie a whole lot, maybe 10 minutes in the whole movie. Like, you kind of think... From the trailer, you think she's been in a lot, but honestly, besides some stuff that happens at the end, in the trailer, you see most of her scenes, um, so she wasn't in it much, and the only other person, there's, the two people I recognized was the nurse, which was the mom in the first Conjuring, 
I think it was the first, first or second one. And she was also in a movie in the 90s called, uh, I think it was just called The Haunting. Uh, the Haunting of Hill House is kind of, I guess, I don't know if they did anything before that, but that was kind of the first movie that I knew of that talked about that house, um, you know, as far as the horror aspect of it. Um, and then the dad, I recognized him. I can't think what he can't, what I recognize him from. Like I said, I didn't look up anything prior to this video. Um, so not a big cast. And the little kid, I don't think I've seen him in anything else. If I had, it might be when he's younger and I just don't recognize him. Um, but they all did fine. You know, it was good acting. I mean, Netflix, you know, they're getting to the point where, you know, Netflix is getting to the point now where you expect a decent quality from their movies just because of how much money they're making. Um, obviously, there's a bunch of stuff I could talk about there with the Disney streaming service and all that, but that's not, that's not the point. Um, but you expect a decent amount, you know, a certain quality from their movies. And I feel like this movie achieved that. Like I said, I mean, it's not a fantastic movie. Um, it's not really that boring. Like, I kind of figured there'd be a lot of buildup um, throughout the movie, and there was a lot of buildup. But the kid did a really good job of making you invested, making you wanting to know what's going on, and, you know, you feeling bad for this kid because of the fact that since he said, I don't think he said four years ago, three or four years ago, you know, he's never touched anyone or taken a shower, from what I understand. You know, so you really feel bad for the kid. Um, so that definitely adds on to the, you know, enjoyment of the movie. And then the ending, you know, if you've seen the movie, it kind of adds a little bit of tension there, excuse me, for the climax, then you're kind of rooting for him either way, um, or at least I personally was. Um, so overall, I mean, like I said, the movie's good. If you have Netflix, definitely go check it out. Like I said, it's a free movie. Um, I don't think I would necessarily recommend it if it was in theaters, just because it is a little drawn out, it is a little boring at first. Um, so I wouldn't recommend going to theaters and watching it. But it's definitely, you know, like I said, stream it on Netflix, or it would be like a red box movie, I would say. Um, complaints? I mean, there's really not that many complaints, like I said. Um, like, and that's kind of the weird thing about this movie is, there's not many too many things I would complain about it, but there's not a lot of great things I would say about it. Like, it's just kind of in that neutral point where you don't want to talk shit about it, but you're not going to say, you know, it's flawless. Like, it's just kind of in that weird category. Um, but definitely a good movie to watch this time of the year. Um, so I would definitely go check it out if you like those type of movies. Uh, as far as rating goes, I'm kind of iffy on it. Because, um, I mean, I don't want to say... I'm not going to give it an A, obviously. Um, but it's not a bad movie. It's just kind of weird. So I think I'm going to go with a C plus for Eli. Um, which I, w I, I would call that, you know, kind of a middle, little above average movie. Um, so definitely go check it out on Netflix, streaming right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll see you in the next one.